Hey everyone, today I'm doing a little unboxing comparison, a very simple comparison of two pulse oximeters I got online on Lazada. For those who don't know, Lazada is one of the two leading Southeast Asian online retailers. The other is Shopee's. So what is an oximeter? I'm going to read the definition I got on NPR. Coronavirus FAQs was a pulse oximeter. So, I mean, I never heard of this gadget before. And now, like with COVID and all, it suddenly became like the gadget du jour. A pulse oximeter is a small electronic device that estimates the saturation of oxygen in your blood. You want a number in the 95% to 100% range. If the number drops to 92% or lower, that's a cause for concern. That's what I just read from NPR. I got two from Lazada and I'm gonna unbox them and do a little comparison. Note that I'm not a doctor, so if the numbers seem alarming to you, well, I don't know if there's something wrong with the gadget or what, or if you don't feel good but the numbers seem normal but you, or you're not feeling good, then don't go by that gadget. You should like ask a medical professional. I'm just simply unboxing and, 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 and trying out a couple of gadgets I got like online. That's it, okay? not a medical professional okay so the first one i got is a 990 pesos that's around maybe 20 dollar equivalent pulse oximeter so it measures your pulse and your oxygen saturation level as the definition i read from npr says so this is a simple box it says pro healthcare fs 20 c one side lists the included accessories and the color scheme that I got which is blue and white. I didn't realize you could choose color schemes, but the other side like mentions the company name and an up top you find a certificate and then like a really big paper manual. It's actually printed on both sides. I only showed one side, but it's just like a really long manual. You don't really need to read it. There's really only one way to use these things. So it's just basically you pop in the battery and then pop in your finger inside and the sensor will read it. It doesn't really say how long you're supposed to pop your finger in, but I mean, I was just guessing. You'll see, you'll see later. This is the very long manual. And then it comes with this little neoprene carrying case and inside, well, here are the other accessories. There's a couple of AAA batteries and then a little gray lanyard. Well, of course, you first you have to open up the battery shrink wrap. It looks like a knockoff Duracell. They're triple A's note okay here's the little gadget looks pretty good i'm not really crazy about this kind of rubbery protective casing because with the philippine heat that kind of stuff gets sticky after a while anyway it looks solidly built it's all plastic you pop in the batteries it's got a nice little oled screen two colors and the little red light that flashed i guess that's the sensor i read online that you're supposed to stick your middle finger in so that's me sticking my middle finger to the the number on the left, the SpO2, that's your, well, the oxygen saturation rate. And the one on the right, that's supposed to be your pulse. 98 seems within the range that NPR said is, like, ideal, right? 94, 95 for a pulse. I mean, I don't really know what that means. But people buy the oximeters for the, you know, oxygen saturation uh, purpose not for testing their pulse so i don't know how accurate that is it seems unusually high for a heart rate but also standing and i'm raising my hand as you can see when you move your hand your finger it says sensor off and it keeps beeping up until you turn it off so it doesn't really tell you when you have to take off your finger i suppose like after a few seconds basically it gives you a reading and that's that you know i'm gonna try it again and this time i'm gonna rest my hand on the table maybe it'll be more accurate if my hand is not tense, you know, raised up high. My oxygen reading seems around the same, like still at a 99, and my pulse is still at hovering around the low 90s. Uh, now, you know what? Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna test my pulse with my watch. So it says 78, but the other one says 90 something, right? So, I mean, I don't know. I'm here, I'm resting my hand on the table again because maybe if. It's elevated, it's more tense. It claims I am relaxed at 78. Oh, you're supposed to press a button to start the sensor reading on the pulse oximeter. It's reading, it's pretty fast. There's a little bar, I guess. The moment it reaches the end, that means the reading is complete, which doesn't take just like three seconds maybe. 
the watch completed its reading it says i'm at 75 but here my pulse is 94. my oxygen is still around 97 98 so i guess it's the same as earlier next i'm gonna open the other one it's a 699 pesos that's around 13 or 14 us dollars there's a little shipping, so it's like the shipping is around a dollar. So this is called the Fingertips Pulse Oximeter. It doesn't really have a brand name on Lazada, but the other one is called Pro Health. This has literally zero branding. The box has a very generic pulse oximeter label too. Um, on, on Lazada though, there's a little logo that says Care You. If you want to look for this very specific model, the logo says Care You and the product photo, but um, if you're going to search for the product name, it doesn't say care you, it just says fingertips pulse oximeter. Box is also bare bones like the other one. Comes with a little user manual and you have your oxygen pulse oximeter thing and a lanyard. So this one is more basic in terms of accessories. It doesn't give you the little rubbery sheath, neither does it give you a neoprene carrying case. It does give you four triple A's where you only need two so you actually have two as a spare where the other one only gives you two I mean this is not a big deal you know these things are cheap and the batteries they gave you they're not really they, I mean they look like knockoff Duracells right so, I mean like I said there's really nothing to read like you just pop in the battery you stick your finger in and the reading takes like a couple of seconds pretty self-explanatory the labeling or the marking and the gadget itself looks kind of um, cheaper than, I mean, I don't know if you could call it that, than the previous one. Not that the previous one is like Apple levels of like label and the packaging anyway, but this one just like looks more low end, but that's fine. I mean, you're not buying this for the industrial design, right? But this is all plastic. So when you first pop the batteries in and you turn it on, if your finger isn't inside, it says finger out. You put your finger in and you're supposed to turn it on. Just a light press, you don't have the long press. It starts doing the reading so it's also like a little oled screen but and it's just as bright but the colors of that one i mean this is just like white and yellow you know so it's kind of more bare bones but like i said you're not buying this for the industrial design my heart rate seems unusually high here it says 100 i don't know like how believable this is my hand is resting on the table you know i'm not out of breath or so I think. Now it says 102. I mean, Jesus. It's like, is that even normal? So then the moment you take your hand out, it says finger out. So here are the two packaging boxes. And I just wanted to do a little comparison. Like I said, I mean, there, this, this is not really like a full review. I can't really vouch for the accuracy of... To make a full review, I'll have to know if the readings are even correct. All I can do is a comparison of both. Both came with lanyards. This one came with a little like rubbery sheath and a uh, pouch. Okay, so the back. So like I said, the labeling of the light blue one, the fingertips branded one, looks cheaper. This one looks more pro, you know, it says pro healthcare. Look, the, the battery polarity is like, they both face the same way. So you don't have to read like, oh, what's the, this positive? Is it on the left or is it on the right? They just both face outside and that's it, you, you close it up. With the other one, it's more of like a typical, like, older style gadget where, you know, I mean, that's really how batteries work anyway, right? Like, the polarities are reversed, but I don't know, with the newer gadgets, they wire it so that it's idiot proof, like, especially for people like me who don't like to read. So this one, this is actually the, the, the normal way where the polarities are re reversed. So positive phases one end, negative phases the other end. The light blue one, it comes with the extra two triple A's. Now I'm going to try to do a reading of both on my hand at the same time. The box that's on the left, screen left, is the fingertips pulse oximeter. That's the 699 peso one, aka like 13, 14 US dollars. And the pro healthcare one, the dark blue and white one, the one on the right, that's the 990 pesos one, is around 20 USD. Oh man, it's getting hard to focus. Let me Let me redo this. Okay, so now I manually focus the camera because when you know when it's blinking, it was hard to focus. So well, I don't know why it's flickering. The one on the right, it must be the refresh rate of the screen. It's not like that in real life. Don't worry, there's no glitch or anything. I'm, I'm going to redo it. Anyway, when you take out your finger, the one beeping is the more expensive one that the other one makes no sound. So let me redo it. Second time's the charm. 
The one earlier, I was actually half standing, half squatting. So, I mean, I, I I don't know how accurate the reading is. I could, I, I, I'm now gonna like just actually kneel on the floor because I have the camera set up overhead, right? So now I'm kneeling on the floor. Technically, a more relaxed position than squatting. Then let's do the reading. I put them both in the middle finger of each hand because that's what I saw on the internet. That's the best finger. The dark blue one starts reading faster than the cheaper one. But then the other one caught up and the reading seems more or less the same. 97, 96 for the oxygen, 98, 99 for the pulse. I don't know how accurate any of these figures are. Now it's dropping. Now now my oxygen says 94. I mean, I'm supposed to be dead. Now it's 93. What the hell? Like, according to the internet, like, I should be hospital. Like, I don't, I didn't move my finger then. But I don't know, maybe if, like, you stick your finger too long, then the numbers start, like, I, you know, from for, from what I understand, you're it's just supposed to take a reading like super fast. So these are cheap devices. They're not actually hospital grade stuff. So take all the readings with a grain of salt. All right. Thanks a lot for watching my little video. Hope you found it informative and helped you with making a purchase decision and stay healthy. Put a thumb up on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. See you next video.